we have created the number range for it there are alternative uh, transaction code as well if you directly want to use it to else the path is there moving next is assigning the number range to the vendor account group now assigning the number range to the vendor account group means that this range which i just created will be assigned to the service vendor group so whenever a vendor will be created under service vendor group the the code generated to the vendor will be with 40 million 40 million 1 40 million 2 40 million 3 that particular sequence system will be generating automatically so let's move on to assign this the very next row you can see assign number range to vendor account groups so you can go to this execute part and in this you can search your own service vendor if you don't no, you can even go to this position if you remember the vendor group S E R V. So we can enter on it, and you can see the service vendor group comes up over here. And if you want your number range, then you can even go to this selects option over here, selection option, and you can create your assign your number range by this. So we created the seventh, we assigned it over here, and you can save it so this is how a vendor group is created then a range is created and that range is assigned to that particular group even if you want you can have a different group created as well later on and if you want this number 07 to be used with that group as well you can assign it just like below you can see this vendor forwarding agent and this vendors are using the same range double x double x double x so you can have you can use the same range with multiple vendor groups or if you want you can have separate number ranges for all these separate vendor groups so it's up to you how you want to take it in the sap system moving back now the next configuration is defining vendor tolerance group so for vendor tolerance group we will be going to business transaction open item clearing then clearing differences so now we can go to close the vendor master now we will be going to this business transaction in business transaction we need to go to open item clearing so open item clearing is here and then we will be going next to clearing differences so there is clearing differences and in clearing differences you can see define tolerance for customers and vendors so that is what this is one of the option or the second option is OBA3 this is the transaction code if you want to go to that so going to it defining tolerance basically if you want to read further you can go to this IMG activity document it will even explain you what does this is all about so this is how you can go for it in this activity you define the tolerance for customer and vendors the tolerance are used for dealing with payment differences and residual item that may arise when the payment clearing is carried out for each tolerance group specify the following and all those you can go through it and you can have a look at it so if you need the details to need you can go to this text and you can read it from overhead document part of it so now moving up to this explore option now I need to create my own tolerance for my own company code so I need to go to new I went to new entries now over here I will be putting up my company code 1200 moving next tolerance group if you want to assign tolerance group to a particular users then you can create tolerance groups you can have n number of different tolerance groups because uh, di uh, different tolerance groups will have different limits and all those limits will vary to the user IDs so as you want you can assign those tolerance groups now moving over here to the below part you can see permitting payment differences so how much payment differences do you allow on the on the upper side or on the lower side suppose I put uh, 100 or suppose 500 500 and I put over here as 
and over here is five percent now payment differences basically means the difference between invoice and the payment even maximum has a difference of of 500 in between the invoice and the payment you cannot have more than that difference so or you can have a percentage defined over here so you cannot uh, make a payment beyond to that beyond to the to the base amount or the percentage whichever is lower side so that is what the system will allow it to you and in the in the below part permitting payment differences for automatic write up automatic write up means the system will automatically post that difference to written off gl account so that is also we define over here as suppose 100 100 and over here if you wish you can put the percentage if you don't you can leave the percentage as well specification for posting residual item from payment differences this is not used as a standard practice so we'll be not discussing this so this is what you have to take and you can test it later on when we'll be doing the unit testing part so you can save this part over here and a tolerance for vendor has been defined now once the tolerance have been defined now moving up to the next is creation of GL as reconciliation account so moving up to reconciliation account as already said reconciliation account when we post any transaction to a subsidiary ledger the system automatically post the same data to the general ledger more or less accounts table is a sub ledger the reconciliation account is the GL account updated by AP transactions using this vendor account. Different vendors or vendor groups can update different reconciliation account or can have even the same reconcil reconciliation accounts as well. So now we will be creating a vendor reconciliation account in this case and we'll see how this works. So for this we have to go to the transaction code FS00 to create a GL or we can go with the path as well. So I am going with the transaction code and you can follow the path to create this GL master. So now going up over here this is FS00. Now in this case now suppose I am creating a vendor reconciliation account means a vendor account vendor GL uh, and a vendor GL must be a current liability so now I need to have a current liability number over here which GL should be created so what number can I have for that I need to go to OBD4 in OBD4 I will check for my liability sites you can see the chart of account is 1000 and in this the liability grouping is from 2 to 299999 so I will be I have to take the series of 2 to create a vendor account so now let's check first which are the liabilities which are already created in the system with the series 2 so for the series 2 in it you can see with 2 a loan account is already existing that means the second liability which I can create will be 200001 for vendors so now moving over here 200001 you have to put it the number for the next to be created and then you have to go to this new click on new part so it will give you the options to create a new one now over here you need to select your account group as you can see in obd4 this is the account group and your account group for uh, vendor account that is a part of current liabilities liability so you have to select the group as liability over here so I would be selecting my group as liability now a liability is a part of balance sheet so I have to se select the radio button balance it part and then you can write the text suppose the vendor which I am creating is a domestic vendor so I can write it over here as domestic vendor the same thing you will be putting up on the below side account
so now this is the first screen that is the description where we select the account group then whether that group represents to the balance sheet or profit and loss account you have to select and then you have to put the description over here now we'll be moving up to the next that is the control data now moving to the control data in this you have to fill the text category so suppose the text category i take is for all that is the star so that all the text codes will be applicable on this i took the star if any of the text codes will be taken the system will allow for this particular ledger and you have to select this posting without text as well so suppose any transaction there is no text code even then the system will allow you to take the transactions now as already said this ledger which we are creating is a reconciliation ledger for vendors so that is why at this tab reconciliation account for account type you need to select which reconciliation part this will be so i am this is a part of a vendor so i have to select the vendor reconciliation so that whenever any transactions will take place in the vendor account that particular transaction will automatically get float in this ledger as well so that is what you need to take it as and over here you have to select the line item display whenever you select any reconciliation account over here that means it will also consist the open item management itself so you cannot click or you cannot take this open item management when you have already taken any of the reconciliation over here so we just have to take the line item display so that whenever a transaction will take place that transaction will reflect you in the reports so this is what you have to take in this particular part now moving up to the next is create bank and interest clicking on it now in this we have to select the filled status groups so whenever you do different nature of transactions you have got different filled status groups for example if we do f4 with the key on the keyboard you will see a list of filled status groups will be reflected in this so in this case now what we need to take is we are doing transactions related to reconciliation account so we need to have a reconciliation account over here so for creating a ledger for reconciliation purposes we need to select the g067 for reconciliation accounts so that is what you need to take over here so this this groups will vary as per the different nature of ledgers you will be operating and accordingly it will keep on varying so we'll see this as we move to the other sub modules in the fi part so this is what you need to select and when you save this over here this will allow you to create your ledger so you can see this enter sort in this now you will make it okay there should not be any red error over here otherwise everything is all right so selecting it okay your ledger will be created so this is how you need to create your own reconciliation vendor reconciliation gl account a bit slow so you can say the data is saved data is saved means your ledger is created so the same ledger now if you go back and i can again go to this and this will allow me to see my own put the gl number over here and then put enter it will show you the detail which has been created so this is what basically is display part so once a ledger is already created whenever you will see in this you just that will be shown in the display options so you can go to control data whatever we have filled is reflected you can go to create bank and interest that is reflected then again now there are certain things which you should know like over here you can go to this information part in information you can see that when was this particular ledger created and who created this ledger and if is in this particular ledger if any changes will take place with this change document you can even check those changes so right now we have just created there is no changes at all so that is it all about so we have created the reconciliation account over here once we have created reconciliation account now we will be moving to the next that is maintaining the document number range so if you remember in accounting we maintained the document number range as 01 now same way we will be maintaining number range over here so 
they are basically two type of transactions majorly which take place in the case of vendors one is booking the vendor invoice and second is payment to the vendor so now we'll be looking after like OBA7 in this you can see that they are basically two types of document type which are used and they all start with K because we are dealing with vendor vendor you already we discussed that account key for vendor is K so for K there are only two things which take place that is one is vendor invoice another is vendor key 